Hi, I'm John McGuire. I'm the product manager for Global Search, and I have with me CZ, our engineering manager. We are going to take you through some of the things that we are working on in 13.9. Go ahead, CZ. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, so in the 13.9 release, uh, we are going to continue our efforts on improving uh, the user uh, experience with the advanced search. Uh, we have one uh, issue we are going to add a scope in the top level uh, search bar uh, to show uh, users uh, at which scope uh, the search will happen. So here is a, a <coughs> screenshot. It is it's our design. Uh, so here when you type a design, then uh, on the right hand side, you will see, oh, I'm going to search uh, in this uh, project. Uh, or if you choose to search in a group, it will miss the group name or it's, uh, in all uh, GitHub instance. Uh, in the self customer's case, it will be uh, the whole self-managed uh, instance. Yeah, so I, I particularly like this change because um, you know, we're not really changing the functionality that exists today. We're just making it more apparent to the users who, you know, in our current experience, it's not really clear that when you do the search in the search box, that you're gonna go to uh, the same project that you're already in. And so this will helpfully make it clear and also promote users to maybe change that project if they don't want to search in the project. Uh, yes. Uh, other than uh, the UX feature that we hope to implement, uh, we are going uh, to continue with our uh, UX research. Uh, I want to highlight uh, two uh, features we are looking at right now. Uh, first is to at a uh, at the number or uh, count uh, <coughs> after each of the filters on the search result page. Uh, uh, the purpose of this uh, change is to give user more uh, information about the search result before they can apply the uh, the filters. For example, if uh, in this page, if uh, we ended up uh, with the search results, uh, there you can see the uh, status open, merged, and closed. Uh, for example, if uh, nothing gets merged, uh, we'll show the, the counter as zero. So uh, you don't have to apply uh, the, the, the filter because they know there are no such, such results. Yeah, so this is great. You know, we do a lot of user research when we pick out like what we're going to be doing in our designs. Uh, you know, we realize that a lot of users have their own ways of using GitLab. And so it's important for us to try to understand what that is and see what those impacts are uh, as we make these changes. You know, this one is, is really interesting because like I, the things that I kind of wonder about from user research is if having those counts uh, help promote the idea for users to actually use those filters and click on them. And of course, what you're seeing here uh, is not the search experience that you have right now in GitLab uh, this is the an example of the future experience that we're actually working to as we continue to grow out the user experience design that we have and have uh, take advantage of the Elasticsearch integration that we've provided. Yeah. Um, another uh, research we, we are doing right now I want to talk about is to uh, add more uh, sorting options to our uh, search result page. So based on our uh, research on how uh, users uh, filter or sort on the issue page. We found out uh, uh, users are very likely to sort uh, the issues uh, by updated date. Uh, so we wanted to provide uh, this feature uh, on the advanced search result page uh, to match or to uh, provides the similar uh, functionality uh, when user source issue on the issue page. Uh, so the one uh, we are thinking to add on the search result page is uh, once you get the search results, you can you have a sorting function. We want to add one more option where user can sort the search result by uh, last updated date. Yeah, that's yeah. another one. You know, and again, with the, the user experience piece, like, you know, this is a, another way to kind of research the 
um, the understanding of how users or what's important to users. So this is an example where we've taken uh, data that is how our users in our SaaS environment are using the issue board for search, not necessarily search, uh, but we're using that to then try to understand what would be the next sort option that we should create that will be the most useful. And so that's where we come up with the idea of the um, uh, of adding in the last updated. And so that's that's a great example. Uh, multiple ways to do kind of user experience. I'm sure it's going to use a lot. I use the new sort feature every day. I hope everybody else is enjoying it. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice uh, data driven approach uh, to land up what we want to do next. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, John. I just finished my part. I'll okay. hand over to you uh, for the next one. Yeah, sure. So thank you. And you know, going into the next thing, we have been noticing that there has uh, really since like the November time frame, maybe even into the end of October, uh, we've noticed that latency has kind of slowly been increasing. Uh, for Elasticsearch in our SaaS experience. And uh, this may be something that is also occurring in like really, really large instances uh, for our self-managed users. We haven't heard that feedback directly, uh, but as we continue to grow the index size, as GitLab continues to grow, uh, we continually will bring in pieces to try to uh, keep a focus on performance and improve the performance of Elasticsearch in GitLab. And so in this next, uh, in this next mile, in this next uh, release in 13.9, we're actually going to continue some work that we've been doing uh, to improve performance around splitting out the search index. So a lot of what happens in Elasticsearch uh, is there's a lot of performance that gets taken up by how it actually does indexing. And we had found that there is an efficiency when we start to separate out these indices by each of the search scopes. And so in 13.8, we have just finished doing this with issues. Uh, in 13.9, we're going to do this with notes, also referred to as comments. Uh, and then we'll be moving on through the rest of these scopes in future, in future releases as well. Uh, one of the really cool things about these new migrations that we're doing and how we're actually changing these index is that uh, they should be very seamless for you to integrate. There really shouldn't be anything that the uh, GitLab administrator will need to do to make these changes. We have added a lot of migration details that allow for these type of changes to happen in a hopefully very uneventful way for you. And all you really need to do is just do your update. And as it, as it does the update, it will actually start pulling in the index uh, for the new version and then removing the old one as it goes. It does this shard by shard. Uh, Dylan on our team has created a great video that gives a a more detailed walkthrough of what happens in that migration. I will link to that from this video if you're curious about what this migration is actually doing in the background. Uh, but again, we expect you don't need to make any changes yourself or do anything to make this happen. It should go seamless for you. And with that, that is what we have for 13.9. I want to thank CZ, our engineering manager, for joining us today. And I hope you have a good release. Thank you, John.